My name is Nina Diaz, and this is my Patreon to help fund my sophomore solo album. I began my music career at the age of 13 as the front woman and main songwriter for San Antonio's own alternative band, Girl in a Coma. When I was 17, Girl in a Coma got signed to Joan Jett's label, Black Heart Records, and we released four albums with them. During this time, I was trying to understand who I was, just like any other teenager would. Feeling misunderstood and alone, I started to self-medicate with drugs and alcohol. But I was a functioning addict. I was still able to write and perform, but I was never truly present. When I was 24, I attended my first AA meeting. Unfortunately, it didn't stick. A few weeks after my 25th birthday, I found myself back in the AA room. This time it stuck. I worked the steps and I started to understand my triggers. This newfound sobriety led me to create my first solo record, The Beat Is Dead. When you change something about yourself, it causes a chain reaction. I started to notice my energy shifting and suddenly I didn't feel I fit with certain surroundings. And although I appreciated and very grateful for all the fans and friends we made, I felt it was time for me to officially end Girl in a Coma in 2018. I moved to Los Angeles for a moment to continue my healing, to continue to find myself. The idea of a higher power and my spirituality have been constant themes in my life. While I was in Los Angeles, I was able to dive deeper into them by studying angels, divination, light work, and shadow work. It was as if I was gathering research and experiences to place into my next album. I moved back to San Antonio at the beginning of 2020. With no clear picture of what was going to happen to the music industry and live performances, I started to adjust like a lot of my fellow artists. And then I started to think, where am I going to make my album? With the COVID restrictions and the loss of income from live performances, I really started to rethink the possibility of booking studio time. That's when my husband slash drummer and I had the idea to just make my album from home. After all, I have experience recording in different types of studios. I've worked with an eclectic group of producers. Why wouldn't I have the confidence to record my album from home? Well, one of the reasons is doubt. I had a lot of self-doubt. I had this program in my mind that you record your demos at home. You show them to a producer, record it in their studio. I never thought that something I recorded from home could legitimately be released into the world. But here I am now. I'm changing that thought in my mind. I'm learning different types of programs, a lot of trial and error. All the while, I'm still diving into this idea of light and shadow work. My light is that part of me that knows the sun will rise, that genuinely wants to see the best in other people, that wants to bring the best out of myself and be kind to myself and love myself. My shadow is my ego, but it's also my protector. It helps me to set boundaries when I feel weak. It helps me to see my fears, to really look at my fears so I can understand them and inevitably let them go. Music is my constant medium as I express that journey, but I will also show you through visuals. I hope you would join me on this adventure. Thank you.